Hi, this is Alan Palmer, PGA of Canada Head Golf Professional at St. George's Golf and Country Club in Toronto, Canada. Now what we're going to do is get into the full swing. Now we have the view of down the line. Again, I'm going to focus a little bit on posture, grip and alignment. One of the things that you'll notice as I approach this ball, I'm really focused on my balance here. So I want to make sure that 60% of my weight is leaning into the shot and I have 50% of my weight equally distributed between my lead and my trail foot. Here, grip pressure becomes extremely important. If I, don't, if I squeeze my grip too hard, again, I'll be off balance. So one of the things that you'll note here is that I'm holding nice and light so it allows my wrist to go back and also release through the shot, which will increase my swing speed. Therefore, the ball will travel further. As I get into my position here, again, ball remains roughly in the middle of my stance. I get into my neutral spine angle position and watch as I rotate back. I want to make sure that I'm rotating my hips rather than swaying back and moving laterally. So I will rotate my hips back and then through the swing, you'll see my left side clear all the way to the left as I go through my shot. Again, my neutral stance here, take the club back and rotate left. Okay, now the angle we have is face on. I'm gonna reiterate some of the things that I work on in my full swing. So one thing to mention is that when you're holding the club here, you wanna make sure that your grip pressure is nice and light and neutral. Again, by squeezing the club, that will get you off balance. You'll notice my ball position remains in the center of my, uh, my stance here. And one thing I'm really trying to work on in my neutral setup and posture here is really rotating around my spine angle as I come back and getting my right shoulder underneath and clearing my hips to the left as I come through. What I want to avoid is again swaying away from the ball and moving laterally. So watch as I address the ball here and ball remains in the middle of my stance. I'm going to take the club back and rotate with my shoulder coming down and through my right shoulder and clearing my hips to the left side. At this point now we're really going to focus on our grip as well as what our wrists are doing through the golf shot. So for a right-handed golfer, as you'll notice, I take my left hand, I want the grip to go in the trail of my fingers here, and I create a little V. Essentially, you want to have that pointing to your right shoulder. Now my right hand now comes underneath, again, the grip going in the fingers to create what we like to call a neutral to strong grip, where we have the Vs in both our thumbs and index fingers pointing up towards your right shoulder. Again, at this point through the swing, Naturally, you just want to let your wrists kind of roll over as you take the club away and again roll over once again closing as you release the club. One drill I like to use is start in your neutral position here and just have your hands rotate back and forth like this and you'll start to feel that natural motion of just your hands rolling back and rolling again through closing through the golf shot. And in this first of our series of golf programming tips with Alan Palmer, our head golf pro at St. George's Golf Club, we're going to go over how by improving posture and alignment you can um, improve your golf game and avoid injury. So let's first of all look at the golf posture. Alan talks about making sure when you're at a dress that you have a little bit of flexion at the ankle, knee, and hip and that the torso is in a neutral alignment. And what that does is make sure that you can connect with the ground, and then when you're going into your rotation, because of the neutral alignment through the torso, because you're rotating and loading up into the hips on both sides, that allows for freedom of movement within your torso. If you have tightness in the hamstrings or lower back and the pelvis gets 
pulled under. And then my spine actually loses that neutral positioning. It's very difficult to then get as much freedom of movement. So we're gonna work on today, how do we get that freedom of movement? So grab a club and let's just look at it. Do I have, try it with me, do I have movement at the ankles? Because we need to have a little bit of that release into flexion, same with the knees. That buoyancy gives us the power from the ground. Then how much mobility do you have at the hip joint? So start by just being kind, separate the feet just a little bit. And press into like a pole or a club. And let's just work on reaching forward, trying to stay very neutral, which means I'm just using the neutral alignment of my spine. I'm not tucking under, I'm not going into extension. So from here, press down into that club. That helps keep your core supported and come back up. So, Go as low as you can without tucking under. How much mobility do you have at the hip joint? Then now, if you wanna get a little more, let's just bounce a little bit here. We have our whole fascial system of energy that when you bounce just a little bit, not harsh movements, you're actually creating more elasticity, fluid in the joints. Then let's work a little bit on balance. In that same position, try to maintain neutral. Only go as low as you can stay neutral. And lift one heel up and then the other. And then can you lift both? And again, so I'm just pressing down into the ground and then both. And then, yeah, can you actually just press, maintain that alignment and pull up. So from there, then, when you go into the rotation, really important that you have enough strength and stability at the hip joint and mobility. So let's just do a little stretch again, pressing out into that release through the adductor instead of your inner thigh. Be careful that you don't release this and come back up. So try that again with me. Stay neutral, reach and come back up. You can speed that up before you go out because then that's helping you get movement through the ankle, connection to the ground, to then go out there and kill your golf game. <laughs>